Hey everybody, this is Deborah, and she's going to show us her camper today. We are at a Sisters on the Fly event, and as you see on her camper, she is number 18956, and she just joined how long ago? About a year and a half. About a year and a half ago, so she's pretty new. So what year is your camper? This is a 2010 Casita Spirit Deluxe. And how long, how many trips have you done with the Sisters on the Fly? I have done, I believe it's been about five or six trips okay. in the past year and a half. And how long have you had this camper? I just bought this a month ago. Okay, so it's totally new and it's decorated super cute. So we're going to show you that. All right, Thank we're going to go inside. So she's got the cowgirl thing going on here. And it's na is that the name of the camper? Lane Cloud. And how did you come up with that name? Um, it reminded me of Land Cloud, but that name is taken by by another group of campers. Okay. So, um, so I decided to stay, instead of Land Cloud to choose Lane Cloud. And I know a YouTube channel called Land Cloud Adventures is because right? he has two big white fluffy dogs, and okay. they kind of make a cloud of fur. Right. Right. <laughs> So you've got well, airstreams have a, a land cloud, and so that's why oh, I okay. Yeah. So you have an air conditioner down here. I do. Yes. Okay. And then this would and be your bathroom. Yes. It's kind of close in here with both of us, yeah, but we're going to try to show it to you. So she's got the decals out there. That's nice. And you shower. Yes. And toilet in the same one. So that's a wet bath. That's and then right. up there is a vent. Right. Okay. My brother and sister-in-law used to have a casita. And this is, of course, the dining area. And we'll make a, a almost a twin-size bed if someone would like to. This will go down, and then the back, the seat back cushions will go down and make a bed there. So it's narrow, but That's it's, right. do, it's doable. It's doable. Yeah. It's doable. And then this would be also a dinette, but I keep it made into a bed. Yeah. That's, just for convenience sake. That's how I do mine. Yeah. And she's got it decorated so cute. And she's from Chattanooga? I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And, and what size bed is that? Is that like a full a or almost less, a full? Almost a full. Okay. And it's perfect where one person is great. Right. Right. And then you have storage over top of that. That's right. And is that a Max fan or just a It manual? is. It's a Max Air. Okay. And, and I love that Max Air. And a little TV. And then I'm going to come over this way sure. and show you. And we have storage here. And I'll do still shots at the end that will show it. And then there's a microwave here. Mm -hmm. Do you use your microwave? Because I see a lot of people take those out so they have more storage. I do, yes. We're doing the voting thing and we were just looking around. Sure, help okay, yourself. Okay, somebody's talking sure. to her outside. So. Sure. You All can right, step so by here and take a peek if you like. There's your stove under there. You have two burners or three? I have two burners. Okay. Yeah, you can step in, sir, if you and like. And the heater there. Around. And then your mini fridge? Yes, and this is a, a gas or electric dual fridge. And this broke off. My husband is exceptionally handy and made me a new lock. Oh, good. That <laughs> works. Travel. Yes. Yeah. And then over there above the air conditioner is a storage closet. That's right. And it, yeah. you have hanging. I have hanging storage. Um, some people make it into shelves, but I actually like the hanging storage. Right. Yeah. Well, you have a lot of other cabinets for right storage for hanging things. Right. She's got these. So yeah. all the way around, you have cabinets. Right. Do you know how much this weighs? Um, it's about... 1,900 pounds, I believe. It's between 19, maybe, and 2,000. That's a good question, but I believe it's around 19. Very lightweight. Right. And what's your favorite thing about the camper? I love that everything is convenient, and I love that it has the bathroom. That that was my one caveat, is I had to have a bathroom, mm -hmm. because I like to boondock a lot. And okay. Do you have solar? I do not have solar, but that okay. may be the next thing that I do. Right, so then and you then can we, boondock there's anywhere. There's an installed drawer underneath for clothing there that pulls out. Oh, okay. You can pull it if you like, but it's just a little... Yeah, that's a big drawer. Mm -hmm. And it almost goes to the very back, almost. About a foot shy to the back. Very nice. Well, thank you for letting us look at your camper. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm going to take some still shots, and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Bye, everybody.